Okay, here we are again with the uh, PI Polonis, Polish PI, and I am on the point where we're going to take a look at the pulse transmitter. So the pulse transmitter section of the board is right here. It's composed of this resistor, this uh, trimmer pot and these two capacitors as well as this NE555. Okay, we're going to take a look at the NE555 output which is pin 3 and let me focus in on the oscilloscope. Okay, so once again we're taking a look at the pulse transmitter portion of the circuit and when I go on to pin 3 of this 555, we should see a negative rectangular waveform. And I believe you should have a clear shot of that waveform on the oscilloscope. So we can proceed on to the next portion okay so what we're looking at is the waveform on the drain of the power MOSFET you can see it is let's see 452 volts peak to peak and now that you've seen what the waveform looks like, I'm going to disconnect here and we'll take a close-up look at that section of the printed circuit board. Okay, so the next por portion of the circuit is revolves basically around the MOSFET. MOSFET's right here. Um, the pins, looking at it from bottom to top, are gate, drain, and source. Drain is is uh, the output, so to speak, of the MOSFET. That's where we were seeing the waveform. Okay, um, got these two resistors here, and the other portion of the circuit is this BC327 transistor right here. So once again, I've got my uh, positive battery power, negative battery power, and in these two uh, connectors here, here, and here, we have the actual coil hooked up. I'll bring the coil into view. This is the coil. Not a very good shot, I'm afraid. Let me zoom out okay here's the newly wound coil it's about 1.9 ohms and 300 uh, micro henry's okay uh, it, this is 24 gauge uh, enamel coated wire and I, f I forget actually how many turns they have on here I know I started off with 30 but I had to I had to reduce it but needless to say it's it's 300 micro Henry's and 1.9 ohms okay so that is that portion of the circuit next I will install uh, Zener diode and put my damping resistor in, in circuit and we will show you what the waveform looks like at that point.